Welcome to Foundations of Business Analytics. My name is Dr. Stephanie Kelly. You're welcome to call me Dr. K or Dr. Kelly, whichever you're most comfortable with. I'm gonna be your teacher and tour guide throughout the semester in your foundational journey to business analytics. Data analytics is a complex field that comes from a combination of computer programming, information systems, communication, and statistics merging together to help us make informed decisions with data. Business analytics is data analytics applied specifically to business context. Business analytics is so vast and new that you're not going to find people with PhDs in business analytics or who are really experts in business analytics. What instead you'll find is people collaborating who have an expertise in a variety of fields like statistics or information systems that come together to train people in how to best execute business analytics. My backgrounds are in communication and statistics. So in this version of Foundations of Data Analytics, we're going to spend a little bit of extra time diving into how to effectively communicate data and analyses. Early in the course, you're going to find there's quite a bit of review of your early information systems and or IT courses, as well as your early statistics class. Roughly the first half of the semester is going to be spent reviewing this context so that we can apply it directly into the business analytics context. Throughout the course of the semester, we want you to develop a working vocabulary in business analytics terminology so that later, when you take courses that are deeper dives into specific components of data analytics, you will already speak the language. We're also going to work on developing a variety of data visualization, which will utilize that knowledge from your prerequisite courses in a business analytics context. This course acts as a foundation for students that are going into either the business analytics certificate program or the business analytics major. However, students from any field in business can find a lot of advantages for taking this course because all business fields now utilize analytics. This week, it's really important that you take time to familiarize yourself with our Blackboard shell. You'll always land on the announcements page when you enter the class. I encourage you to check Blackboard announcements every day, because if we have any extra credit opportunities, they'll appear on this landing announcements page and be available for 48 hours. Also critical to review this week is the course information page. Course information is where you're going to find the syllabus, which you do need to read in its entirety this week, as well as a variety of other university policies. The content area you're likely to use most frequently is the learning units. This is where you're going to find a unit broken down for every week of the semester that includes each of your assignments, complete with instructions, submission links, and grading rubrics. Also note the button for My Grades. When you click My Grades, the first column you will see is your course average. Every time a new assignment is graded, that column is going to update so that you always know where you currently stand in the class. Also, please note this link to virtual office hours. If you want to join me during those virtual periods, use this link to connect with me through Zoom. Please remember throughout the semester that you're not out there alone. I'm here to help and I look forward to working with you. The best way to get in touch with me is via email. If you ever go more than 12 hours without hearing a response to me via email, please email me again because if it had arrived, you would have received a response by then. No question is too big or too small. I would rather answer 100 emails from you a day than have one student confused. So communicate often and communicate early. I look forward to working with you throughout the semester.